Hey y'all. Woo child. I ain't done this in so long. I don't even really know where to begin. First of all, I'm actually looking cute for work today because one of my team members is getting an award this evening, so I'm dressed down for that. But um, let's address the obvious. I ain't been up here in a while. And once again, I didn't intend for it to happen, but it did. And I've been trying to come up with the reasoning behind why it happened. And I think it's because God is just like, girl, sit down. That's the only thing that I could come up with. And it's because I have added things going on in my life right now. So today is all about life updates. This will be brief, but I'm about to give y'all my tea, okay? So first and foremost, as soon as Bay and I got back from Mexico, and I do have video for that that I need to put together, but as soon as we got back from Mexico, my life has been in shambles. A good shamble but it has been in shambles. I have been going, going, going nonstop. And I think naturally things had to fall off that wasn't serving me as much as other things in my life. So YouTube had to go. Um, I don't be posting on Instagram like that as much to my feed. And I think that one thing that I am coming to terms with, I guess due to maturity, is that social media, yes, I knew that social media was highly negative, but it's like very negative. And I don't understand why internet people aren't kind to one another. And being a therapist and hearing how so many people are just going through life, it's is very disheartening to see so many just mean people like the other day um bay and i were um watching football together girl i had watched me a like a whole half of a football game and his team was the 49ers and then um colin kaepernick came up some kind of way so then i just started looking him up to see what was going on and every single post of his no matter what it's about People are talking, and I'm like, what is wrong with y'all? Like, people are just mean and nasty, and it hurts my feelings. Um, even when it doesn't involve me, it hurts my feelings because people just need a break, and nobody um, seems to really cut people any slack these days. And it's, it's just sad. It's sad times that we're living in. So I think that was kind of like the underlying stuff that was going on on top of what's been going on in my life. So child, what's been going on in my life is that, girl, I am coaching. Yes, child, I am coaching cross country. And um, I've been posting all about it on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, that's where the T is. But I am coaching cross country. We have a team of about 80 plus folks. So it's a lot, it's a lot, but it has been so exciting. Um, we practice two times a week and then they have their meets on the weekends. So yeah, my my weeks are just like back to back to back to back to back like this week i believe i am working four times in the evening plus we gotta meet on saturday so it's just been a lot um the cross country season wraps up in like two three weeks maybe more like three weeks so that will fall off and then i should be able to you know get back on my zoom right so that's what's going on um and also i'm trying to make sure i'm giving me some coffee y'all i'm trying to make sure that i um start getting more sleep everybody trying to get coffee let's see what this coffee is given i got a pumpkin spice latte with 25 percent less sugar mm. 
Mm -mm. I'm a fan. Yeah, I'm glad I got it with less sugar because this is perfect. The last time I did my coffee order, I did a, um, an almond butter latte with 30% less sugar. I was thinking that the almond butter was going to be like a cookie butter. But obviously, it was like peanut butter, but with almond. So it was a nutty. I finished it because I paid for it, but it wasn't my jam. But this pumpkin spice latte is good. Next time, I'm going to get the maple latte. Very good. Then maybe after that, I'll try the honey turmeric latte. I've been trying to get more sweet because now that I'm getting older, I'm realizing that my brain can handle stress far greater than my body can handle stress. So for the last year and a half, probably plus, my brain has been managing stress extremely well. Um, I have the ability to make meaning out of things very quickly and I can be very logical when I process things that are um, devastating or disheartening. Um, but my body has begun to keep the score of what's been going on in my brain. So I have been attempting to get more sleep. I'm trying to go to sleep by 10 p.m. I'm no longer waking up at 4.30 to go to the gym. Now I am waking up at 6 a.m. And that has been very helpful. So there are some other adjustments that I've been making in my life to make sure that my body responds to some of the um, stress relief that I've been trying to incorporate in my life. And I'll probably um, dive a little bit more into details about that as time goes on because I want to test out some of the things that I've been practicing to see if it's actually been working. So that is all that I have for you all for this video. The next video that you see should be my uh, Mexico video with all the deets. So that's it for now. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>